Uh, yeah, my name is Michael Mendelson. Uh, I'm with the National Renewable Energy Lab, and today we are here to discuss um, NREL's advisor model. Let's get it up. Right. Uh, and specifically, um, simulating advanced financial structures in the new version of SAM. Thank you for joining. Today we're going to uh, give a little background on the project which uh, added the financial structures to the SAM model, um, explain a little bit about federal tax incentives and tax equity, go over the, uh, the financial structures generically, how they work. Um, in, the, um, in the markets and um, how then they're applied to SAM and, and uh, explain that through a model walkthrough and, and explain next steps as, as we look forward in improving the SAM model. So as a bit of a background, uh, this project started in late 2010. Uh, there was first an Excel model that was initially developed by uh, team of subcontractors to um, it was originally an Excel model and it's just developed by subcontractors to um, Matt Karcher, John Harper, Adam Kobos from, from uh, those firms that you see there. Um, then the model, their Excel model was converted to uh, SAM language in, uh, earlier this year and a, a beta release was, was made available to certain users and the public release was, uh, was early in May. Um, well, a couple of, of modest refinements have been made since, um, but uh, it's nothing, nothing drastic. Uh, there was also a couple of modest flaws that were in SAM that were, that were fixed. Um, Thanks to our subcontractor team for, for pointing those out. Just quickly, uh, some of the difference, differences to the prior SAM model. Um, the advanced financial structures are applicable only to the utility market. These are, are for large-scale projects, especially uh, designed for the utility market. It is possible to utilize these structures in a portfolio of projects that may be available to uh, commercial projects, um, but generally uh, in SAM, we're only looking at them in the utility market. Um, they're also not technology specific within SAM, although they might um, vary slightly um, across technologies uh, due to the risk profiles of each technology and, and the output um, of each resource. Uh, in the prior version of SAM, there was something called an IPP model, um, uh, as well as a couple other models. They, those have been rolled together now and are still available in the current version of SAM. Um, there are essentially three choices that were that were, pri uh, were available in the prior model and, and currently available under quote-unquote IPP. Uh, there's no real magic to IPP that any of these project structures really could be applied to an independent power producer and are really are actually most uh, most specific to that, but but it is referred to as IPP. Um, in comparing the old IPP model to the current advanced structures, the probably the most uh, relevant structure is the single owner um, that's currently available under the advanced structures. Um, now the old. IPP version and the new structures may not match exactly, but there have been some refinements in the way the calculations have been made and, uh, and certain aspects of uh, input are, are unique with it between models. Uh, specifically, the, the new models account for reserve accounts, which uh, include a uh, debt service reserve account and a working capital reserve account. Also within the new models, there um, at least those that include project level debt. There is something called sculpted debt. Uh, the user can define a single debt service coverage ratio, perhaps 1.4, and the model will figure out how much debt 
the uh, project can sustain in each year using that, um, or how much how much debt payment made each year based on that debt service coverage ratio, and then define a maximum level of debt um, based on those those debt annual debt payments that are available in each year of the project. Uh, there's also slightly different cost classification um, from um, between the the older versions of the model of SAM and the, the new 2011 version. There's been some redefining of what represents indirect cost and um, and some of those costs have been included under finance specific costs. Uh, so there's been some reclassification um, so you may have some different answers between older and newer versions of SAM. Also, there's a place to input a specific developer fee um, that can be defined uh, by the user. Uh, the current models also can solve for tax investor TI. I can't tell if I'm live. Hey, Mike, um, I think we've lost audio. Are you are you there? Yeah, I put it. I'm just trying to get the yeah, um, the operator. Okay, I can hear you now. I think. Well, you're in the conference call, so. Can everyone else hear? Can anybody else hear us? Yeah, I hear you. I can hear you as well. I can hear you. I'm just trying to put everybody else on mute. I don't know how to do that. I think it's started. I'm sorry, I meant to put the phones on mute. If if you could put your own your own phones on mute, uh that would be helpful to reduce background noise. How how do you do that? Um it might be star six. Mike under star six, yeah. Thanks very much. Uh, so just to return to where we were, where we were, the current version of the model can solve for the tax investor return or the first year PPA price. It cannot solve for the developer return. Um, just some of the constraints of, of working from an Excel model to begin with. Um, Similarly, some of the features in the uh, older version of the SAM model, the ITP model, cannot be modeled in the new financial section. Uh, specifically, we can't look at mortgage-style debt um, because we're looking at the sculpted debt. We uh, we refrain from mortgage-style debt. Um, also, the optimization that was available in the prior versions of SAM for uh, EPA escalation to, to look at those two inputs and, and lower lower the LCOE uh, to its optimal level, um, that was available in the, in the prior version, but is not in the current. Um, also, uh, mid-quarter depreciation class, that is something that we realized isn't really relevant in an annual model such as SAM, so that was that was removed from current calculations. Some quick caveats. Before we get into the structures and some of the other aspects of the presentation, uh, SAM is meant to really be a feasibility screening tool. It's really not uh, producing bank quality analysis um, that you can take to a financing, uh, just primarily based on uh, the limitations of the model, being so generic for all users and having primarily uh, annual cash flows. Um, often, uh, a bank quality analysis will require quarterly cash flows 
um, and also some generalizations regarding allocations of tax and cash benefits. Uh, so your project will likely require tax and financial counsel and um, and really in talking to developers and investors, it's if you look across the financial structures available, one isn't selected necessarily because it always produces lower cost. It's really about risk allocation among um, the different investors, uh, specifically the tax investor, um, and what they're comfort li uh, comfortable with, what, uh, what type of structures that they use in the past and, um, and are, are comfortable with going forward. 